High speed running and sprint distances have been observed to be associated with injuries in elite soccer. Exposing players to acute increases in high speed running and sprint distance reportedly increases the risk of injury. Furthermore, spikes in weekly total distance, accelerations and decelerations have also been demonstrated to be related to higher injury risk. Previous research also suggests that there is a high incidence of injury during training and match play during preseason. As a result, IT is imperative that exposures to different stimulus during preseason is progressive and appropriate in nature. Method 22 in 2020 and 21 in 2021 professional elite soccer players of the major league soccer from two squads over two preseasons participated in the study. All outfield players were included in the study which accounted for four positional groups, central defenders, fullbacks, central midfielders, and forwards. All injuries that prevented a player from full team training and match play was recorded. An injury is defined as any injury that prevents a player from taking full part in all training and match play activities typically planned for that day for a period of greater than 24 hours from midnight at the end of the day the injury was sustained. The distance, M, measures of physical performance including total distance, high speed running, sprint distances additionally, the sum of accelerations and decelerations were studied. These metrics were collected via GPS. Session rated of perceived exertion, RPE, scores were taken using a modified Borge, 10 scale. Body composition was assessed using an 8-site ultrasound and an aerobic anaerobic fitness was assessed using a YOYO test. Results There were 19 injuries across two preseasons, 11 in 2020 and 8 in 2021. A total of 191 days were lost through injury, 113 in 2020 and 78 in 2021. The interaction between standard deviation and injury was statically significant. The injury results of this interaction can be found in the table. Neither total distance, high speed running and sum of acceleration and decelerations and training load were statistically significant.